uh, how do you prepare these documents? It's a legal document. It's in a legal format and there are legal requirements that must be met. So if you're going to prepare one, go to a solicitor, go to a, a trustee company, um, have it set up for the, your purposes and have it executed in the appropriate manner. Then make the decision as to whether you wish to make it uh, registered or not. Because as I say, once it's registered, you're handing over the power and ability of the individual or the individuals to make decisions to your, for you on your behalf. Think of who uh, you would want to appoint. You can uh, appoint an individual attorney, as I say. That person goes off and makes the individual decisions for you, but what if that person's no longer able to do so? Think about who the replacement would be. Um, you can name joint attorneys who can act jointly or severally. The problem with naming joint attorneys is if you have two, uh, the second person is bound by the decisions of the first person. So you can have one person actually going out and making decisions and the second person not involved but being liable for those decisions. You could have a solicitor involved, which is fine, but as we know, solicitors' firms do change. Solicitors do, do things on occasions that they shouldn't be doing and they're held accountable for. And you can name a trustee company such as ourselves or uh, TAS Perpetual or TPT Wealth as they are now known. Um, give some careful consideration to uh, naming individuals. From my experience, I've seen situations where opportunity uh, presents temptation uh, and family members for best, uh, best intended purposes do take advantage and we have that word or that phrase elderly abuse creeping into society more and more now where family members do take advantage of elderly parents and I've had it said to me, mum doesn't need the money as mum's sitting in the aged care centre, uh, aged care to home with one TV and one chair and one bed and the kids are taking every opportunity to use the funds travel overseas, put the kids through private education and so forth. So just be aware that opportunity does create temptation and temptation can lead to um, problems. <laughs>